Dover, Delaware. Doug's here. Gary Brown's here. It's NASCAR day all day. I have been waiting since October, it's October 5th. I have been waiting for this day since May. Uh, Gary and I are NASCAR fans. Doug knows nothing of NASCAR, so he is mostly here to drink. I do not drink, so I will hang out. Oh, and this is also, Doug never goes anywhere with me. This is the furthest, me, me and Doug have been friend, friends for 20 years. This is the furthest we've ever traveled. It's 60 yeah, miles. I know you've been to my house parties. So this is going to be our day. We're going to the earn hearts did. Now look, you're going to, if you're thinking, oh no, Captain, I don't like NASCAR. Trust me. You're going to have fun. Wait till you see. What? We're not, no, we're, we're not doing that yet. We're, we're going to walk around for the, now before we got here three hours, the race starts. Gary Brown, what time is the race start? Three o'clock. Three o'clock. What time is it? Not even one o'clock yet. So we have two hours before every race. Before every can you go see? Before every race, they have all types of games and activities. Wait till you see how much fun you can have at a NASCAR race. You ready for ready for fun? Are you ready for fun, Gary Brown? Gary Brown's ready. Here we go. So we've been here for a total of, it's been two minutes since I put the camera down. Uh, they have stands and stuff that sell, like sunglasses and you could get like food. Uh, Doug saw one stand selling sunglasses and uh, we lost Doug. So now, me and Gary Brown. All right, let's see what's going on today. Let's see. Uh, we got here way too late. Bobby, what time is it? You said one? Uh, yeah, we missed Bobby Allison. We missed everything, Gary Brown. Yeah, we didn't even make it in yet. We didn't even make it yet. Let's go. So if you've never been to a NASCAR race before, it's not just a NASCAR race, it's an experience. Doug's gonna love all this stuff. It's like, you know, wood carving, ice sculptures, lumberjacks, all kinds of crazy shit. Another year. Oh, uh, All right, right, here we go. We gotta take the cover photo. We'll be right back after these messages. They don't just like I said. It's not just NASCAR. I can watch midget wrestling. So, and then they have games that you can play where you can win prizes. I ain't got time to wait in line, right? But, oh, look at the helicopter, Gary Brown. Uh, there he is, the Intimidator. Let's do it. What in the world of white people? <laughs> yeah, we're gonna we're gonna we're gonna let Gary Brown run wild in here for a little bit. Keep your clothes on, Gary. All right, here we go, Gary Brown. We're go. Right, we'll do that in a minute. Let's go through the corn maze. You gonna do the corn maze? All right. Go ahead. Which way should we go, Gary? This way? All right. All right, here we go. That's why I love doing this. Oh, look at these on vacation. We did it, Gary Brown did it, yeah! He's my hero. <laughs> It took us one minute. We did it in one minute. Be the cameraman. Ah. 
Just, just come here. All you gotta do, get Gary Brown, film him over his shoulder. All right, like that. What are you drunk? Uh, no. Oh no! The big pile! Oh, it's over. Like, hey guys, John! Big winners! So, how did it feel? How did it feel, huh? How did it feel to win that big race? Good job, Gary Brown. Victory, huh? All right. I came here for a NASCAR race. Look at this. Right? Wow. That's pretty impressive, huh? Crazy, right? Whoa! Let's see if it will make a curse. When he gets really excited, he curses. Get it right. They have the actual Budweiser Clydesdales. Huh? Yes, that was a good one. Oh, look, there's the dog. There it is. Oh, there you go. That huh? was fire. It was a lab. Look, that's what Pat Burrell rode in the World Series parade. I bet you that's the one. Oh, we gotta get a picture with this. Now, all this section here, this is where all the drivers sell their merchandise. Now, the good thing about the full October race is that it's near the end of the race season, so you can get stuff on clearance. So let's see what we can get. There's my driver, Kyle Busch. You like Kyle Busch? Huh? I told you I like Busch. No, Kyle Busch. This is my driver. Where is he? Oh, he, well, he might race. I don't know if he's racing today. He might race today. There he is! The man of my dreams! I knew you were gay. Oh, I love him. I love him. You probably turned gay. Uh, that's not nice. And why do you always talk like that? You always do. Can we get one for ten? Boss man. Can we get one for ten? One for ten? I bought my new my my favorite driver, I bought his hat. I gave Doug my Budweiser hat. 
Uh, Gary Brown, we gotta, we gotta get Gary Brown ball. some. I got that back at the shop. We'll give you a fireball. Number 18. Number 18 on the track. Number one in your hearts. Woo. Yeah, you can smell the rubber. There's the track. Unless you've been here, it's impossible to explain how big that is. Oh, they're qualifying? What time is it? That's as high as the stadium. No, that's higher than the stadium. That's about as high as the Eagle Stadium. Yeah. Eh. I guess, so I guess it is easy to express in words how tall it is. Growing up as a kid, is there anything that you were ever like scared of or had any phobias or even now to this day? Like I hate, I hate cockroaches and spiders man. Do you have any phobias? I'm not, I'm not the biggest fan of, of spiders for sure, but whenever I watched, uh, I think it's, uh, Signs a long time ago when that movie first came out. I think Bell Gibson was in it. That movie, I was really, really young when I watched it. It, it freaked me out for a while, but I, I he's going to be in the race today. He's racing. Okay. Oh, nice. He overcame it so much. He does now before the race. He does. Um, how about uh, any Halloween plans for you and the Do you guys do like matching outfits or uh, have you in the past? Like, what's like the funniest Halloween outfit? Yeah, uh, but you've ever done. Are you big on to, to Halloween? Knows how to use them. I like Halloween. We haven't had a real chance to do a, a, a couple pairing outfit yet, but uh, we'll have our opportunities here in the future. But probably one of my favorites was uh, what I did two years ago. I dressed up as a leprechaun. And I was in SEMA for Thanksgiving. Or Thanksgiving I was in, in SEMA for Halloween. That just happened to be there. So, yeah, leprechaun was a lot of fun. Uh, I kind of fit me well with the red hair. I had a pot of gold with uh, Hershey's Kisses in it, but they were you know, gold foil on them. So, I went all out. It was a lot of fun. I really enjoyed it. Did you put on like a leprechaun accent as you were trick or treating? Or Gary Brown? You, and if, if yes, you gotta did you give, win? Give us a little leprechaun. Pop did you win? I yeah. tried. Oh. Yeah, do something. Well, well, you gotta dance. You gotta dance. Yeah. Doug, come here. Yeah. No, he's two foot away from the guy talking shit. All right, good. Give that to Gary Brown. Yeah, don't you don't care. No, Where'd he go? Oh, he's spinning the wheel. Yeah, 20 bucks. What's the wheel for? What'd you win? Yay! Gary Brown won a hat! You want to get an autograph? There's a driver right there signing the autograph. Tyler Reddick, you want his autograph? Good. 2018 Xfinity Series Champion, Tyler Reddick is with us. John, I would say sign, I'd ask him sign the hat and say, yeah, his name is greatest player. Let me say it. No, it's the champion. Yeah, Sign no. your hat. What, a, yeah, what other sport? You can't do that with Tom Brady. We lost Doug already again. <laughs> He's at the car. Here we are. Buggity, buggity, buggity. Where do you want to sit at, Gary Brown? You can sit anywhere you want. Here it comes, here it comes. how much I love NASCAR. And another good thing about NASCAR is you can do insies outsies. So you can leave and you can come back in. So and look that guy is a cooler. It's nothing but beer. Say what you want. Oh they go left for three hours. Who cares? It's fun. Alright here we go. The parking lot which was once empty is now full of a lot of pickup trucks and SUVs. Uh, my car is here. Where is Doug? That's the question. Let's see how this goes. I bet you, I bet you, I bet you he didn't find the car.
No, he didn't. It's open. It's unlocked. And he didn't. All right, hold on. Let's call him. He definitely got lost. He definitely got lost. I'm encouraging. Huh? Oh, I got to give him his ticket. Shit. And honestly, my favorite part of NASCAR is the shit that happens before the race. And I'm missing it. <laughs> he's not going to answer or he's lost. Motherfucker. Went to the casino. He went to the goddamn casino. <laughs> no, he's not answering his phone. Shit. Please leave your message for... Doug. Fuck. You can hear him 20 yards away. I don't hear him. Fuck. What do I do? Do I go up to a cop and say, listen, I lost my 56-year-old uh, friend. Uh... He's wearing a biker vest and a bandana on his head. The beer's here. If I leave a ticket with the beer, I'll do it. Alright, so I put a ticket on the beer. So I trapped him like a, like a bear trap. I have a ticket there. And he doesn't know anything about NASCAR. And, and he doesn't shut the hell up when he meets anybody. So, odds are, he doesn't even realize he's lost yet. Oh, fuck. I went to a NASCAR race. And I lost my buddy, Doug. And my buddy, Gary Brown, is all alone in the track. That sums up my life right there. Alright, so it's been it's been five five minutes. No sign. No sign, no no nothing. Hey. That's how I came in? I know that's a way out. Yeah. You're welcome. Do me a favor, if you see a fifty six year old guy wearing a biker vest. Uh, send him this way. There's my car. Doug! And, and everybody has the body type of Doug here. Usually, you know, Doug sticks out. He's built like a goddamn refrigerator. I just saw four people with the same body build as Doug. Uh, right, he said, I'm going to go back and get my beer. And I said, you sure you know how to get back there? And he goes, yeah. And that was 20 minutes ago. I came back. The beer's not touched. And, uh, he's lost. Yeah, he's never been to a NASCAR or anything. Well, where were you guys sitting at? Like, oh, that's why he doesn't even know that. My one friend, King Suspicion, he walked to the casino. Oh, maybe. Yeah. I, I said, oh, it's a casino. I would call him or text him. Oh, I've been calling for 20 minutes. Oh, and he's not answering. Oh, no. Oh, okay. Doug, I went back. I walked, all, I walked all the way back to the car and you didn't go anywhere. All right, I'll be there in 10 minutes. I'm, I'm, run, I'm walking back. I'm sorry. No, I'm looking for you. Dude, I called you like six times. You were sitting on it. He was sitting on it. All right, I'll be there. I'm, I'm a gate 15. What gate you at, 18? All right, I'll be there in a second. Hold on. No, I just realized. Doug. 
got up, went to the bathroom. I walked past the bench he was sitting at. After he told me he was going to meet me at the car. <clears throat> and he went back and sat at the bench waiting for me to come out. So we missed. I've walked, it's about a mile back to the car. So I've walked here, there. I've walked a 5K. Doug. He's like, oh, I fell asleep. So let's, let's see what he looks like when we get up to him. I'm sure he's tired. He said, oh, I'm sitting on a bench. What bench? What bench? What bench? What bench? I don't see a fucking bench. There's the bench. Yeah. I'm at the bench. Where you at? Oh, well grab your beard. <laughs> oh yeah. Oh yeah, it's him. It's him. <laughs> Here he comes. There he goes. There he goes. <laughs> oh, this motherfucker, he and he walked six miles. He's got you got an Uber. You got an Uber. There he is, his first step. His first steps in the NASCAR. Hour and a half. You were not looking for me. No, I was sitting there talking about handing me beers and shit. I thought NASCAR people were the nicest people. Oh, oh, we made it! We right made it! Yeah, I mean, it's, we're gonna be moving around all day on the long run, so I think that our was, car was really good. It's just a matter of uh, keeping up with the Danny day and, uh, trying to get good traction. Oh Lord, how excellent is your name in all the earth? The drivers are ready. The pit crew stands by. The fans are psyched. Give us a good race, a clean race, as we're ever grateful to be in the land of the free, the home of the brave. Amen. Amen. Here I don't get for our national anthem. It's weird, right? Please welcome the USO Show Troop. <laughs> uh oh, big time stars. the most famous words in motorsports. First, start your engine! Woo! That uh, kind of a process neck that we're done for the day. Had a ton of steam coming out. Looks like it may be radiator problem. You mentioned his inability to see it out, in, out from the uh, windshield of the car. His hood is just printful up. It's just bowed up right in front of him. It's not laying across the front windshield. It's still attached to the rear of the car, but it's just bowed straight up. We left the race, we were bored, and we, uh, this is the racetrack, we're sitting right up there. We came out here, and, uh, look, these people just leave their stuff here, they go in, watch the race, and they go back out. Yeah, it's, 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 it's like climbing a mountain. Green flag is back in the air. Very tight for me.
did a great job. You control it, keep it. Cole Custer comes home. Yeah. And he's up to his one hundredth start, and he's joined the list of four other drivers to do it. Ronnie Silver. The whole tire is finished behind Cole Custer here at Dover. But this time it was. Smell those tires, huh? Yeah. Congrats, you going to buy the crew down there. Smell, yeah, it smells like Bridesburg in the 90s. Again, he's just one buckle and getting yeah, ready yeah. to climb out. What a there he is. Look at him. Look at him. He's talking. He's always talking to people, right? Yeah. Making. He's always making friends. Let's just go We're for a walk. Waiting. Yeah, it's gorgeous out. Oh yeah, my knees are the same. It's chilly. Chilly, yeah. Oh, it's great, isn't it? Just shit. This is the reason why they're here, I didn't need sweatpants either. But Gary Brown. Gary Brown's one of those. He wear he wears shorts in de December, right? Gary. Inside. Inside, yeah. He'll come over my house to watch wrestling. We watch every wrestling pay-per-view together. And Gary usually has shorts on. <laughs> so, Gary, I have a YouTube. You watch YouTube? Not really. Not really. I have a YouTube channel. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna make a movie all about our day at nascar all right so at the end of my movies right my little stupid movies i make i say toodles and once in a while right i let my friends say toodles but not many so i'm going to let you say toodles today so i'm going to say that's the end of the video and then you go toodles okay all right all right that's the end of the video doug say goodbye to the people get the fuck out of my face. all right hit like and subscribe doug what'd you think your first nascar race Hi, so you left me out there waiting for me for an hour. I left him. He said, I'm going to the car, and I left him. But you had to go back here to let... And Gary Brown won the Gary RC Pro-Am, and he met the NASCAR champion. All in all, a good day. Hey, we're done. You got to say goodbye. Gary, say goodbye. Goodbye. Goodbye, Dover. Toodles.